Scan and Cut covers a multitude of crafts, one of them being quilting. And today we have Vanessa Wilson, AKA Crafty Gemini here with us to show us how Scan and Cut maximizes your fabric, as well as she's gonna show us tips on creating a patchwork pillow. Hey Liz. Hi Vanessa. So we're gonna get started. Whenever I'm working on a patchwork project, the first thing I wanna do is prep my fabric, okay? And to do that, we're gonna starch it. It's gonna make the fabric nice and stabilized, both for cutting and for sewing. It just makes it a lot easier for you. So you hit the fabric with some starch and then with a hot iron, and that's just gonna stabilize it. Once that's done, you can load it onto your mat, and I've put it with the pretty side or the decorative side of the fabric face down because we're gonna be drawing on our, stit, our seam allowances and then cutting around the shapes. Now, Vanessa, you mentioned that uh, starching your fabric, another great addition for cutting is the fabric support uh, material that you can put on your standard mat uh, that helps you cut fabric real nice and easy. That's right. I mean, I think that would be great, especially for lightweight fabrics or even the synthetics, because in quilting cottons, we can hit it with a hot iron. But if you have a synthetic fabric, you definitely will want to exactly. use the stabilizing sheet. Exactly. So we've loaded our washable marker into the scanning cut, and I'm going to come here and start selecting the designs that we're going to work with. For this quilt, uh, for this patchwork pillow, excuse me, we needed some squares. I'm going to go right here. It's a built-in design, super simple geometric shape. I'm going to change the size down to two inches because we're gonna add our seam allowance to that, okay? So two, two inches square. So we're gonna go down here to select for the seam allowance feature and I'm going to add the seam allowance there. We wanna double check and make sure what our seam allowance is. So we're gonna go down here to settings and then scroll down to this page. And right here where you see seam allowance, you see it's set to half an inch. For quilters, we want that quarter no. inch seam allowance. That I do know. Okay, <laughs> so we have it there, press okay. So now we're ready. You can see it adjusted the seam Perfect. allowance right there. And once we have that, now we're gonna cut, we're gonna want six of these. Okay, so I just bump up the number to the number you want, click set, and now you can see that it's arranged them for me. Based on the fabric that I have in there, I'm gonna wanna scoot these down. And that's all you need to do is grab one, scoot it over, adjust it and so it's great for quilters because we have tons of scraps so you can play around with the shapes to try and squeeze them in wherever you exactly. can to make the most out of the fabric. So we have our six there we're going to click OK and we're going to go to draw because we want it to draw out all the seam allowances that we need. You can double check up here and it's telling you that the seam allowance you've set is quarter inch so we know that's right and then we'll just click start. So now it's drawing out our seam allowances for us. Now since we were talking a little bit about um, fabric saving I noticed that you do have some fabric here. Can you just show an amazing example it is of amazing. the minimal, minimal amount of fabric waste? This is not even fabric waste. I mean, when you cut off selvages off your fabric, you get, you get off more than this. Exactly. You can see I cut out six from just this little tiny scrap. So with this machine, trust me, I'm saving every bit of fabric scrap that I have in my studio. Even when I'm sewing clothes, I think I have more waste than that. So that <laughs> is amazing. Definitely. We're done drawing. Our six squares are on the fabric. Click OK. And now if you would change the, the function here for me just to put in the blade instead of the marker, Great. we're gonna do the cut feature now. And we've set it to the correct depth of the blade. And there then you go. just click on cut, it's processing, and we can hit start. And that's it, it's cutting it out for you. So now you have your seam allowances marked, you know exactly where to stitch, and it works out perfectly. If you're a beginning quilter, like you said you are, this is what you need to be doing, Liz. You this don't have to worry about a quarter inch foot, or anything having and your that stitches is be crooked. One of the, the one of the scary parts for me about quilting is, first of all, fingers with rotary cutters. Oh yeah. And no making sure that they're all lined up. Um, it's coming with, like, coming from sewing and now going to quilting where it has to be exact. That was a really scary feature for me. So this works perfectly. No more worries. You don't have to worry about cutting because it's doing it for you. You just have to stitch straight on the line and that's all you have to do. Now I see a couple different things here that you're talking about. Um, it's different odd shapes as yeah, well as- Yeah, this is a tumbler block. You mentioned as well as a, a different type of uh, seam, a scant? Yeah, a scant quarter inch. Quarter, so to perfect. do a scant quarter inch is just, you stitch a little bit inside of that line and it's going to be perfect. Perfect. And this is just a tumbler block. You can lay it where it's supposed to be and it can be a little awkward for some people, but remember just stitch on the line that the machine drew and you're done. That's amazing. I think having the lines for sewing, it's a great guide. Thank you, Vanessa, for showing us no these great tips for beginners as well as for seasoned quilters Definitely. and how Scan and Cut can make it easy.